Chattanooga's Classic Rock Station, KZ106. Kelly McCoy here, my favorite day of the week. It is Thursday, which means it is time for Pet Project with the Humane Educational Society. And a very special week because there is tons going on. Uh, Janine Cloyd is joining me now. Uh, and we'll talk about the barn cats coming up here in just a second. But of course, the big news right now, you guys are getting ready to move into that brand spanking new facility. Yes, we are. We, we move on Monday, so we're, we're packing right now. <laughs> I know. So you can, you can imagine the disarray that they are in. Uh, but I, I honestly, I've been driving by and just kind of keeping an eye on it for the past you know few months as it's been going up. Uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to see it. Uh, and I can't wait for the animals to see it and get into the, as we call it, the creature comforts of, of you know, central heat and air and, and, you know, just great space and play yards. And it's, it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, the staff and the volunteers, we are all so very excited at just just having this really wonderful place for our animals. You know? Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, and of course, we're trying to get as many of the animals that are currently in the current shelter home if we can. And so you're having a bit of a moving sale and that's going yep. on through Saturday? Yep, through the end of the month. And, well, I guess, yeah, through Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so since it's 2021, it's $21 adoption fees uh, on all animals uh, except puppies under the age of six months. And what all does that $21 get you, Janine? Well, everyone is spay or neutered. They are microchipped. They get all their vaccinations, um, age um, appropriate vaccinations, um, rabies shots, uh, flea and tick preventatives, heartworm preventatives. They are ready to go. And the, the process, if somebody is interested in making an adoption, uh, I guess go to the website and see if there's one that strikes your fancy and then what's the next step? That's right. So go to our website, check out all the pictures. Um, and what's cool about our website, uh, we have a brand new website too, but um, you can look at all the animals that are in foster homes as well as are living at the shelter and um, fill out an application. You can tell us if there is uh, one or two or three that you're interested in meeting, or you can say, hey, this I'm just looking for a pet that meets these qualifications or you can just say hey I'm I just want to come and see what you've got you know everybody's different and um, and so once you fill out the application an adoption counselor will call you and um, interview you over the phone and get you all set up to come in and meet the animals awesome it's a very seamless process uh, and and hopefully we can get a few of them out uh, even though they're gonna miss seeing the new shelter but I, I think they'd prefer to be in a home don't you <laughs> I think so. I think that's yeah it better uh, set up for them. <laughs> Absolutely. So what we're talking about today is another program that you guys have going on. Uh, you call them barn cats, uh, but they can really go in pretty much any kind of facility that has a rodent control problem, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, they're working cats. And um, so you see that little picture there. That's a kitty cat with a horse. And quite often our little barn cats make friends with the other animals on the farm. Um, we have such a sweet story of a, um, a kitty that was adopted in October and he's best friends with their turkey. And so um, uh, Frankie is the turkey and Smokey is the cat and it's just the sweetest story. Um, but anyway, uh, these are community cats so or feral. Some people call them ferals. They're not socialized to be with humans. You've seen them out and about. They're living, they live outside their whole lives, sometimes in colonies. And um, sometimes those cats find themselves at the shelter. So uh, um, people are not looking for unsocialized cats because they're not really a house pet. And so we developed the barn cat program to have a place for these guys. And um, but we always need more barns and greenhouses, warehouses, you name it, any kind of facility that might like a working cat. And we do adopt in pairs because they don't look for companionship through humans, they look to each other. Okay. So we adopt in pairs, unless you already have barn cats. Sometimes we get folks that their barn cats have passed away from old age and they want to add more to their to their crew. Sure. 
but um, I hear really good things about um, these guys and them not having mice and rats and things like that in their barns or their facilities anymore. And of course, they're already, uh, you know, they're, they have all their vaccines. By the time you get done with them, they have been fixed. Uh, so you won't be having litters. Uh, and it's a great program. And the best price uh, part about it is the price for adoption, which is nothing, right? It's free, right? Our barn cats are free and we will help you with uh, supplies uh, to start out, like um, any litter and there is a protocol that you have to go through to make sure that barn cat sticks. It's not just taking a cat and dropping them off in your barn. Um, sure. You've got to keep them in a contained area for two weeks minimum, um, and you do some ritual stuff to make sure that they realize you're their person that takes care of them. You're still responsible for feeding them twice a day, things like that. But we help you all the way along with that process. And we help you with supplies if you need it. And um, right. it's, it's such a great program. I've, I've enjoyed being part of it so much um, and working with these different families that have adopted them. Well, again, if you are interested in more information, heschat.org is the website, the new website. Uh, and you can see not only the adoptable cats and dogs, but also find out more about the Barn Cat Program. Janine, congratulations again on the new uh, facility. I hope the move goes very smoothly next week. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're excited. <laughs>